<laughs> hey. Hello Jules, how you doing? I'm going to hold it for a while before I get too tired. Hello Eric Chabeloski. Nice new people, who have we got? So make yourselves known. Say hello to me, so I know Lou worked. How you doing? Found you on, found me. As, hi, it's WJX, how are you doing? Shabak, hello Shabak. <clears throat> Fantastic, who else we got? So we got you two. Any more? I'm good. Very good. Been having a good few days. Autistic Genius is booming. It's uh, feeling like it's more than just a Facebook page now. Yo, what up? I am a bit, not massively. But, um, got me Glee Cup. Got it in an Easter egg. I liked Glee. Partner, that's new. Well, I'm alright. It's the first time we've acknowledged us each other as partners. It used to be, oh no, it's all you. When you did as much work on the page as I did. Oh no, it's all you. Well, yes, why am I here? Blog site, I've got a new blog site. In the title is the website in crime. Ah, okay. It's the title, it's autisticgeniusblog.wordpress.com. I've put two things on it. All I've put on it, I've put on an, an actual article blog, which has already been published, but it's my work. So I copied and pasted it from the other website and put it on mine. And I've changed it, called it something. I called it, it's an echolalia, something autistic people do. And it's my first article that was published and I've put it on there. And then I also put one of my videos, which is of what is autism. I thought that's a good one to put on there. Um, I may do some more writing up about, yes, keep them coming. I'm thinking about doing some more writing about overloads and information processing. That's my next one. That's going to be a biggie. So I'm going to whether to do it. It's about, I've, it's, well, I'll be honest with you, I've already wrote it. It was stuff I've already written in the past when I was working on the book. But I think a blog, it just makes more sense because I'm impatient. And it's, it, I've got good stuff already written. It just makes sense. I've already got stuff written. That's good. So why not? publish it now so just leave it for nothing yes keep the hearts coming some bit like wow i've got a lot of people on tonight really cool so and my charity event saturday which is very so tiago cafe how you doing nice to meet you so yeah i've got that oh wow quite a lot of people are joining this is exciting um olavo areo 2000 legend There's been vid time management. That's a video there. Yeah. Um, everything has to be a video before it becomes able to be written. I tend to get when I do, come up with an idea, it becomes a video, and then from the video, I will write down what I said and expand on it, and then it becomes something more, way more. Bloody poo parts. I'll tell you what, I'm loving the hearts, guys. I'm amazed. <laughs> gotta love irony, Lou. Uh, you've got to keep the ironies amazing. But yeah. No, um, time management is a good idea for a video. I mean, I've got um, I've got to do... This Sunday... Um, I've got to do all my videos in a day because of the new studio... So, um, maybe I'll do, I might have a, I might set the studio up Saturday and do a video Saturday. Well, but um, I've got to do some, I've got to iron my backdrop, my white backdrop. And I've got to put the lights on it. And I'm just going to put the camera on it and see what it looks like. <laughs> it's, it's not like, wow, like, oh my God, it's amazing. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's 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 actually no. It's pants. The studios go. It's pants, but it it hopefully it'll it'll give it a bit of enhancement to the videos. Um, it may be that I still I might do what I do before and literally just put the backdrop. For, actually, I might do that. Maybe Mr. Fred Studios. I like that Mr. Fred Productions. I had another idea for a production company. 
That's quite a cool. It's called Turn on the Tap Productions. I think that's quite a cool name. I like the idea of, um, like whenever I do some project. I am doing. I'm doing good. Oh, nip slip. Apologies for that. I like the idea of. Um, um, I think. It's when I do stuff. I don't like tombos. I like autistic genius to be. It's by autistic genius, because I mean, I, I, you all know. Like everyone on the page knows I'm Tom. And they all know I'm Tom. Um, because I don't really care. You know, it's my name. And also, yeah, so, um, but I like the idea of things being known as, so like if I, if it, <laughs> putting on the Ritz, I, putting on the Ritz is an old song. Putting on the Ritz, was it by a man called, was it like something, Taco? Put on the Ritz, that reminds me of Young Frankenstein, which is, um, it is, well, oh, hello. Fred Astaire songs like If you're blue and you don't know where to go to Why don't you go where fashion six Putting on the red studio Different types of wear Dressed up like a million dollar trooper Trying hard to look like Gary Cooper Boy, I remember it as... Um, Young Frankenstein with Gene Wilder, which is, if you're blue, you don't know where to go to. Why don't you go where fashion sits? <laughs> Boy, <Boy-o-verance! laughs> the Ritz! That film is great. Super Duper! Absolutely amazing. <laughs> I'm a gleek. Just thought you didn't know. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, the new blog site. Check it out if you've just joined us on Periscope. If you just turned up, I'm Autistic Genius or Tom. Oh, Young Frank Sons. And, like, I'm just, the new blog site's in the title. Please check it out. It's done. A, it's actually done quite well. I'm, that's why I'm carrying on with it. Um, I'll be honest with you guys. Don't expect the articles to be consistent. Because my priority is videos. Articles will come second to videos. But... They are go hand in hand, so likely something that I've made a video about will likely be something that I. Yeah, do you know what blooming? We took we spoke about it, didn't we? You tell me how to do it, and I looked at the website. I went on it, and I actually done it all. And all I had to do was post things on it, just like you would on Facebook. You just copy and put. It's really easy, and it's just brilliant because every time I add something to it, it just r- makes. Adds makes the page longer, so it is pretty full. It's cut well this week. I've got an interview tomorrow night with a guy from Liverpool, Merseyside called Matt. I think he's coming all the way from Liverpool to see me. I've got to tidy up my flat for that. Um, I've got an interview Thursday night with Autism Live, and then once they're done, I can think about my videos. So um, I might start making videos in the week. Um, but. It's just a bloody studio stand thing. I might do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to go about it. The studio's amazing. But it's... But, um... The most exciting thing to ever happen to me has been offered to me and confirmed, which is Autistic Genius has got an event in April, and that's just... Yeah, but I've got to work out where the studio's going to go. Um, and stuff like that. So it's a bit more difficult. So And also, I'm trying to work out a new YouTube end screen. Try and get a bit more of a new look to it. So it'll be really cool. But yeah. I don't know whether to do the sack, put the put the back, put it all in the same place as where it was before, and just light it that way from where it is, like by the desk, because that might be really cool actually. Because then I might be able to have the backdrop out of the way and keep it set up.
But yeah. I don't think this year's the crazy year. I think next year's the crazy year. I mean, I've had to cancel all videos in December. <laughs> purely because I'm not going to be able to write the talk. <laughs> if I don't have the time off in December. I've just not thought about it. I might try and do some this week. I just don't want to. I just want to do videos. That's all I care about. I've got to do that video for Point in November. Completely forgot about that. I might do that tomorrow. I'm going to be on Autism Live this Thursday. I'm being interviewed for the second time. On Autism Live this Thursday. And. It's at 7.15 UK time. Which I think is 11.15 their time. Um, which I'm really excited about. I like doing that because it's just a chill. I can sit on it. I can just go, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah. I don't see why not. I'll probably have to just film me. And then I'll... Um, whatever. But they've got a big following. They do live stream. I might do a live stream on YouTube. I don't know how it works, though. But, um, we call to live stream a public speaking thing or something. That'd be so cool if I could do that one day. It'd be good if we could live stream the, the Autistic Genius event. But um, but the problem is though, if I live, live stream and events on the internet, people won't kind of come watch it. So I want people to come watch it. Um, I want to do more Autistic Genius events. I might try it. Maybe um, and Indigo Arts, we can do one annually. And then maybe I can do another one. That's just purely me. <laughs> Where I'll invite speakers to talk about whatever they bloody want. And... I like the idea, my autism show, my autism event, I keep calling it an event because it is really, but I don't want it to be considered, it's not a conference, it's a show. So people are going to come and be entertained. I want people to be entertained. So when I do my talk, it'll be like one of my videos. It'll be like really hopefully funny, well, energetic interesting and to the point which is what i go for and if it's funny that's a bonus so that's the plan and i've reason and with autism and the arts is the theme we can be entertaining because the people with autism can do their acts so hopefully we can see how they get autism awareness across through their acts and i, I said to nicholas I, said, I met a guy called nicholas he's a flipping legend who's done really well actually he's a really good speaker from what i'm hearing and he's doing ever so well as a speaker. I'm hoping to be where he is actually. He's done. He's got some amazing opportunities. He's been asked to talk to 300 people about autism. 300 people. Amazing. Where's Where's my 300 people? But anyway, it's almost like a really cool thing would be to almost create one day to do a massive event where I can create my own version of TED. You know TED talks. We do TED talks. Like a like sort of TED Talk style, but it's about it's just autism, and I think autism needs our major platform. I think it's stupid to go autism should be part of this. I think autism should have its own platform, and the most amazing idea I'd have, the best night I want. Imagine there was you know like they have children who need in comic relief. They did one of those for autism. And that would just be. The best night ever. 
I'd call it Autism Rocks, and all it would be is live music and comedy all night. I wouldn't do those stupid videos where people are like... <laughs> if I did videos, they'd be autism people with autism or parents of people who are positive. It's happy all night. I want people to go, yep, yeah, there's good days and there's bad days. But I don't want people to go, my life has been ruined by this. This is and Because it, it sounds like your life's been ruined by it. And I, no, it's my son is autistic. Yes, he's low functioning. Yes, he's 20. This is discipline. He struggles to take care of himself. And we have our good days. And he's hit me and he's done this. But I want to swap him for the world. He's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And he deserves every opportunity that everybody else gets. So please give. So please donate so we can do that. Make autism visible. That will be such a good... What a slogan. <gasps> Let's make autism visible. That is so good. It's a bit of a harsh thing to say, actually, because how could you make it visible? People would probably... The autism community, How could you make it visible? And I said, it's, it's a metaphor for being aware. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's what I think is a great slogan. We'd get people talking. But that's what we need now. That's what I'm. I'm at that point now with my things, with my stuff. It's not about. This is really good because it's good when people say, "Oh, this is really." When everyone's like, "There's people are like this is really good. This is really good. This is really good." But really what you want is that you want negative stuff, not loads of negativity. You do need a little bit of it to create discussion and debate because that's what we need and that's what we need. We need discussion and debate about autism all the time. We need it on people's minds all the time. So that's how we get it known. So that's, so yeah, that's what I think. Exactly, I'm, that's why I've done the, the, the taking the Bible literally this week because I think that was well, my new video series. I might it might become something permanent that I do every week or every other week. That um, like maybe once a week I do a video called taking the Bible literally, and maybe people could tweet me or comment or send me in suggestions for what part of the, for what section of the Bible I should take literally. So, but may I be really good? So maybe I could do a video announcement <laughs> and that. But I think that could be a good series, taking the Bible literally. What do we all think of that? Comment, please. If anyone's seen today's video, please tell me what you think. Do you think it's something I could continue as a regular occurrence? Or do you think it's something I should put to bed and never do again? Do you think it's something that I could do once a week? So like I did a four minute video, I took a verse from the I took something from the Bible and I said the literal think my literal thinking about that part of the Bible. Maybe. I think it's something to think about taking I might have to come up with a different name. Taking the Bible literally is quite a good one. It's a good title. But um, I'm not normally very good with titles. Or an ideas man, really. So titles is something that sometimes doesn't come to me. And also titles that you might think of that make, but people think of it. Hello, Lynn loves... Lynn! Lynn! This is nice. I normally... But yeah. Lynn, I've got a blog site. I've, I'm a blogger now. Check me out. I'm like Mr. Internet and everything. If you want to go on my blog, Lynn, read it. Read it. It's the link is the, the the website is in the title. Well, thank you. It's not it's nothing to be excited about. I've set it up myself, but it's doing well. But um, multi genius. I won't go that far. Just uh. Just a normal guy, just doing what he enjoys, doing, doing, doing a hobby that's becoming almost successful. 
It is exciting, you're quite right, especially when it's done well on its first day. Yes, Owen. For those who don't know, Lynn's got an autistic son called Owen. He's a ledge. And he normally interrupts her videos by shouting things like Rocket. Which I did hear about. But yeah. Um, recap. So, new blog site. Woo! Being, being interviewed tomorrow by a guy called Matt about a film that where he's raising money to create a 24-hour autism hotline. That's what he's doing the video for. I've got to read the questions he sent me again because I need to think about them during the day. It is awesome. And then I've got aut and I'm being interviewed by Autism Live this Thursday. So, Lynn, if you do you watch Autism Live, Lynn? Lynn, you, have you subscribed to Autism Live? Be interesting if Lynn has, because I bet she'd be really good. She'd really enjoy that. Well, I'll be telling you about Autism Live. Autism Live is a YouTube channel that's really good. Basically, Autism Live, every week, they do, I think it's every Tuesday, Thursday, they do a live show of two hours, and it's all about autism from their studio in America. And now, in England, it comes on about, like, maybe half, five, six, I think it's like six to eight o'clock in the evening, maybe. On a Tuesday, Thursday night. I never watched it all the way through. I've watched bits of it. And also, and on their YouTube channel as well, because it's recorded live, they also edit it down. So they pick out sections that were really good that they thought stood out. And they upload them as singular videos so you can kind of watch highlights. And if you and you can find me on there, because I've already been on there once. It's kind of an introduction to what I do. They actually contacted me and said, do you want to be interviewed? Out of nowhere. And I was like, what? And it was kind of like, yeah, they're on YouTube. And she was she was telling me like how how my videos are like PewDiePie standard, which is just like what the hell? Oh my god! She was saying like you can watch me if you search autistic genius or some live, you'll find me on there. And um, in fact, if you type autistic genius YouTube in Google. That's what video comes up me on autism. And she says, You're like, your videos are like PewDiePie standard. You've just got that in YouTube style, but it's for autism, and that's what my, and that's what she loved about it. She said it's really accessible to all to everyone, like for kids and everything. And that was a really nice compliment. She says she's gonna show us some of my videos. So yeah, awesome live on Thursday, and then I've got to make videos, and then we've got the charity event with Jules on Saturday. I don't know whether I'm going to have my own table, with Jules, because I don't know. I've got nothing to put on there. All mm -hmm. I could probably do is just put on my video, put just stick a laptop on. I need the internet though. Have a laptop, and just have a video. The only thing I could do, Lynn, is Skype you. Um, so we'd have to work out what time you go on and what time that would be in England and whether or not I can do it. So... Bunny is Lynn, that's the same Lynn. What time is it, guys? Peace. Hey, Sal, how are you doing? Does anybody know what the time is? 10, alright. Right, well, I'm getting tired. So, let's go to the. 
tripod. Oh, you're allowed to tent, I mean. Um, 2pm specific USA. Going straight in my basket. Don't flash boobs, I would never do that. Right, bear with me guys, I'm just doing something really cool. Right guys. Where's the button? Sorry guys, apologies for this. This is this is pure chaos. For those who aren't, for those who are British, you'll Frank Spencer comes to mind. Boom! Look at that. Look at the ceiling. Yeah, thought I'd put the sensory lamp on for you all. So yeah, chilling out in my beard. Hashtag loving life. Cool. Oh, it is, mate. It's such amazing. It's really relaxing. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, my God. It's just been on two minutes. Well, that's probably me more lying on the pillow, face down. That's done that. Um... Oh, I see what's going on. It's not me you love, it's the lamp. All right then, forget you. How's about I just turn the lamp on and film the periscope? Yeah, I'll do it. Forget me. Just have the lamp on for two hours. Oh no. I'm sorry. That's shit, isn't it? Hopefully you get a better one. Be good. That's what I like to hear. People that are going to be right back. So it's five in the evening where you are. Uh, what time do you record, Lynn? In the day, because... Oh, I have the next month set. Right, okay, so... All right, that's fine. What... When do you record? You record at five, your time. So, ev... Oh, okay. So I could come I could come on your show. So you do it every Tuesday at five. Okay. I can do that. Yeah, yeah, I should be able to do that. Tuesdays are good. It isn't live. It doesn't matter. So you record it and then upload it, is that correct? Right. So you, oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Just say when you want me. Find me on... You've got me on Facebook. Just send me a message. Right, guys. My battery on my phone's really low. Which means I'm going to have to 0121 do one. It's been a really nice periscope. Oh, and then it's on your website. And I will share your website and share the link and all that jazz. In fact, why well, haven't I done that already? Send me all the or information and it will be advertised on the my Facebook page. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great evening, weekend. I'm going to bed. No, I'm in bed. I'm going to sleep, y'all. And I'll hopefully, well, I will periscope y'all tomorrow. I might have a word with Matt. See if we want mind P periscoping the interview with him. See how he feels about that. But I'll um, chat to you later. Bye.